Akaselo Yana, Wikipedia article audio. Fi Joa Selo Yana O. Berg, or Thostaman Selo Yanis O. Berg. Etymology Akaselo Yana, a species of flowering plant in the myrtle family, Myrtaceae, is native to the highlands of southern Brazil, eastern Paraguay, Uruguay, northern Argentina, and Colombia. It is widely cultivated as a garden plant and fruiting tree. Common names include Phyjoa or slash Fe. H.O. Slash, pineapple guava and guava stain, although it is not a true guava. It is an evergreen, perennial shrub or small tree, 1-7 meters in height, widely cultivated as an ornamental tree and for its fruit. Phyjoacello Jana Berg is from the genus which the German botanist, Ernst Berger, named after Jao da Silva Ficho, a Portuguese naturalist, and the specific name honors Friedrich Sello, a German who first collected specimens of Phyjoa in southern Brazil. It has been nicknamed Pineapple Guava, Brazilian Guava, Fig Guava or Guava Stain among different countries. Fruit The fruit, known as Phyjoa maturing in autumn, is green, ellipsoid, and about the size of a chicken egg. It has a sweet, aromatic flavor, which tastes like pineapple, apple, and mint. The flesh is juicy and is divided into a clear, gelatinous seed pulp and a firmer, slightly granular, opaque flesh near the skin. The fruit falls to the ground when ripe and at its fullest flavor, but it may be picked from the tree prior to falling to prevent bruising. Growing Conditions The fruit pulp resembles the closely related guava, having a gritty texture. The Phyjoa pulp is used in some natural cosmetic products as an exfoliant. Phyjoa fruit has a distinctive, potent smell that resembles that of a fine perfume. The aroma is due to the ester methyl benzoate and related compounds that exist in the fruit. Cultivation It is a warm temperate to subtropical plant that also will grow in the tropics, but requires at least 50 hours of winter chilling to fruit, and is frost tolerant. When grown from seed, Phyjoas are noted for slow growth during their first year or two, and young plants, though cold tolerant, can be sensitive to high wind. Sale and Shipping In the Northern Hemisphere, this species has been cultivated as far north as western Scotland, but under such conditions it does not fruit every year as winter temperatures below approximately minus 9 degrees Celsius kill the flower buds. Summer temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit may also have an adverse effect upon fruit set. Phyjoas are somewhat tolerant of drought and salt in soils, though fruit production can be adversely affected. Tolerant to partial shade, regular watering is essential while fruit is maturing. Consumption Some grafted cultivars of Phyjoa are self-fertile. Most are not, and require a pollinator. Seedlings may or may not be of usable quality, and may or may not be self-fertile. Phyjoas will mature into a sprawly shrub, but can be kept successfully as a large container plant, though accommodations will need to be made for the width of the plants and the need to encourage new growth for fruit production. Phyjoas are occasionally found as landscape plants in Texas, Florida, and California. They can succeed in greenhouses in temperate parts of the United States, and have been grown in ground as fruiting trees on the United States East Coast in coastal Georgia and South Carolina as well as in California. Other regions of the United States, the Pacific Northwest, the southernmost Appalachian Mountains, 
and the immediate coastal region from North Carolina to Delaware all would warrant further investigation. Nutrition Food Uses Varieties Quantities of the fruit are grown in New Zealand where it is a popular garden tree and commonly available in season from March to June. In New Zealand, the pollinators of this plant are bees, bumblebees, and medium-sized birds. The silver eye is a pollinator in the cooler parts of the South Island, the blackbird and the Indian mina, which feeds on the sweet, fleshy flower petals, are pollinators further north. In some areas where the species has been introduced, however, the trees have been unproductive due to lack of pollinators. The shrub has very few insect pests, although guava moth is a problem in northern New Zealand. In the South Caucasus, Phygoa has been cultivated in the southern coastal region of Azerbaijan since 1928. Cultivation in neighboring Georgia has gradually increased to about 988 hectares in 1986. Ripe fruit is prone to bruising, difficulty maintaining the fruit in good condition for any length of time, along with the short period of optimum ripeness and full flavor, probably explains why phygoas frequently are not exported, and where grown commercially, are typically sold close to the source of the crop. However, intercontinental shipping of phygoa by sea or air has been successful. Because of the relatively short shelf life, storekeepers need to be careful to replace older fruit regularly to ensure high quality. In some countries, they also may be purchased at roadside stalls, often at a lower price. Phygoas may be cool stored for approximately a month and still have a few days of shelf life at optimum eating maturity. They also may be frozen for up to one year without a loss in quality. 100 grams of raw phygoa provides 55 calories and is 13% carbohydrates, 8% sugars, and 1% each of fat and protein. The raw fruit is an excellent source of vitamin C, providing 40% of the daily value, but supplies no other nutrients in significant amount. Although the skin is edible, the fruit usually is eaten by cutting it in half, then scooping out the pulp with a spoon. The fruit has a juicy, sweet seed pulp and slightly gritty flesh near the skin. Phygoa may be torn or bitten in half and the contents squeezed out and consumed. An alternative method is to bite the end off and then tear the fruit in half lengthways exposing a larger surface with less curvature and using one's teeth to scrape the pulp out closer to the skin. A phygoa may be used as an interesting addition to a fruit smoothie, and may be used to make wine or cider and phygoa infused vodka. The flavor is aromatic, strong, and complex, inviting comparison with guava, strawberry, pineapple, and often containing a faint wintergreen-like aftertaste. It also is possible to buy phygoa yogurt, fruit drinks, jam, ice cream, and such in New Zealand. It also may be cooked and used in dishes where one would use stewed fruit. It is a popular ingredient in chutney. The very strong, Complex flavor can make using phygoas, in combination with other fruits or vegetables, a creative and complex undertaking. Fruit maturity is not always apparent visually, as the fruits remain the same shade of green until they are overripe or rotting. One usually may sense ripeness, however, by giving the fruit a soft squeeze. A ripe phygoa yields to pressure somewhat like a just ripe banana. Generally, the fruit is at its optimum ripeness the day it drops from the tree. While still hanging, it may well prove bitter, once fallen, however, the fruit very quickly becomes overripe, so daily collection of fallen fruit is advisable during the season. Anatoki, 
Apollo, Bambina, Barton, Choicina, Coolidge, Edenvale Improved Coolidge, Edenvale Late, Edenvale Supreme, Gemini, Kiteri, Kakariki, Mammoth named for its relatively massive fruits, More, Nazemets, Opal Star, Pineapple Gem, Smilax Mid-sized, Spherical Fruits with Smooth Texture, Trask, Triumph, Unique, Vista Long noted for the long shape of its fruits, developed in Vista, CA, Wiki 2. When the fruits are immature, the seed pulp is white and opaque. It becomes clear and gelatinous when ripe. Fruits are at their optimum maturity when the seed pulp has turned into a clear jelly with no hint of browning. Once the seed pulp and surrounding flesh start to brown, the fruit is overripe, but still may be eaten, or used to make a delicious juice, jam, or compote. The flower petals are edible, with a slightly sweet flavor with hints of cinnamon. The most common use is as an addition to salads. They are regularly consumed by birds. The crisp, spicy sweet tasting petals of Phyjoa flowers are edible. Spread made of mashed raw Phyjoa. Numerous cultivars of Phyjoa have been developed. <laughs>